Fisser is the second witness to take the stand since the resumption of the Agate inquiry. She testified that she was tasked with taking down Dr. Neil Agate's statement after he had complained of being assaulted and tortured by security branch police. I um, signed the, uh, the branch command of the security branch to establish on Parsis Tengbar is the um, Hitler. I phoned the branch commander of the security branch to find out where the complainant was. He said to me, the complainant is currently at their offices on the 10th floor, then I should come there. I introduced myself that I am Sergeant Blom from the investigating uh, criminal cases. And that I am looking for Dr. Agat um, because I need to obtain a statement from him with respect to uh, an assault charge. At the time, Fissel was investigating seven other cases of allegations of assault of detainees in prison and says the branch commander who she consulted with was Major Arthur Conrad. Conrad and his colleague Stephen Whitehead were found to have been responsible for torturing Dr. Agate, which led to his death on the 4th of February 1982. Undoubtedly, he would have made some sort of impression on you for the time that you spent with him when he took your statement. I do remember me. I mean, I do remember him. Yes. And I'm sorry that he passed away, but I cannot force to remember. It was a confusing time. The 1982 inquest was held within a short period of Dr. Agat passing away. Now, the question that I'm putting to you is that if Dr. Agat had been one of those people, one of those detainees that did not want to give you a statement, you would have remembered it clearly. The inquiry resumes next week. Nosin Mia, SABC News.